What's happened in Warhill? It's the first week of October, and here are some news and updates for you. Be on the lookout for a technology survey that will be posted tomorrow. Also, on October 14th, interim grades will be available in view. We hope you have a great week, Lions. For our Power and the Pride segment this week, we wanted to share a moment rather than a story. Thanks for, thanks for joining. I turn it over to our guests. Well, so um, every month we choose a Crystal Apple winner. Um, so this month we decided to choose the self-contained special education team. Um, you all have worked tremendously hard this year under the circumstances. Um, everyone here has done a fantastic job staying positive, working hard, ensuring the safety of all admin and students. And we really appreciate everything you've done for us um, and for our school, and we know you're working hard. Um, so congratulations for winning the Crystal Apple Award for September. Yay! <laughs> Aww. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We thought we needed it to Mr. Wixel. <laughs> thank you. So, thank you, everyone. Thank you for all your hard work. And all right. You guys got the crystal apple for this month. You got the crystal oh, apple. Hey. 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 Thank you, wow, SCA, for amazing. presenting. Appreciate you guys. All of us. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Right, take care. <laughs> We'd like to thank all of the special education teachers and paraprofessionals who are in the building every day working hard for our students. I'd also like to send a personal shout out to Ms. Shannon Williams, our special education team lead here at Warhill High School. She and her team work tirelessly every day and they definitely exemplify what power and the pride really means. For this week's installment of What I Miss, we are gonna hear from one half of the special education team. Hey Pride, it's Miss Williams. I am teaching math, I believe, this year, probably geometry. We'll cross our fingers that that's where I end up. Um, what do I miss? I miss it all. I, I miss being in the building. I miss seeing your smiling faces. I miss the hugs. I miss the excitement. I miss the vibes, um, especially during teacher work week. I miss the cheerleaders. I miss the band. Um, playing loud the drum line. I miss the orchestra and the choir singing for us and all the students there to serve us our first little, our, our first supper <laughs> or our first meal. And uh, just, you know, the excitement in your eyes that you're going to start another school year. So um, I can't wait to see you guys. I look forward to all of this being done soon. So see you all soon. Bye. My name is Ashmore Handlin III, special education teacher at Warhill. And what I will miss most about being in the building is having the in-person interaction with the students and being able to work with them one-on-one -on -one and build relationships. Hi, this is Mrs. Darcy. I really miss um, Warhill being at school, seeing the students. Um, enjoying to see them when they're learning and and excited about learning something new. I, I really miss going in person and um, I'm looking forward to a time where there's less computer involved. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mrs. Boynton and I am a special education teacher here at Warhill. This is my sixth year here. And um, I also am part of the Sunshine Squad and I am the pep club person. So I really miss seeing all the students in person. And I really miss building relationships with you and getting to know you all and uh, being in the hallways and being at the pep rallies and the football games. I mean, that's so much a part of high school, but we will get it back. We will be back one day and we'll do it all again, um, but miss you guys and hope to see you really soon. Our safe harbor moment this week is brought to you by our wonderful counseling team. They're keeping it real. 
Welcome, War Hill students, to Keep It Real. I'm Mrs. Miller. And I'm Mrs. Knight. Do you ever wonder what your school counselor does all day long? Well, never fear. We are here to give you a peek into the day of the life of a school counselor. Our day is never dull. Besides making sure you're on track towards graduation and college, our roles vary from handling major life events to helping a student overcome a bad test score or a breakup with a significant other. Do you know we are licensed educators with a master's degree in school counseling? We are qualified to help students navigate through the challenges of high school while focusing on the academic career and social emotional development of all students. As school counselors, we are here for students who just need to talk or may be confused, angry, overwhelmed, or are just struggling. We are here to listen and help find solutions and help you overcome your challenges. Fast fact. 82. That is the number of years of experience of our WHS counseling team. We keep our conversations confidential, but keep in mind your safety is our number one priority. There are four exceptions to when we need to bring in outside assistance and support. These four exceptions are someone is hurting you, you want to hurt yourself, you want to hurt somebody else, or someone else's safety is at risk. Along with being here to listen, we want to help you work smarter, not harder. By helping you stay motivated, organized, and engaged, we want to help you be prepared for the exciting years ahead, personally and professionally. So there you have it, Warhill. We are here to support you in many ways. You may see us in your classrooms for classroom counseling lessons, small group lessons, individual counseling sessions, and we also have a ton of resources on our LMS pages or the Warhill Counseling website. So remember to share how you keep it real by tweeting or posting to Instagram using the hashtag keep it real Warhill. Until, Until next time, keep it real Warhill. This week, I got to chat with two seniors on the field hockey team, Riley Mullen and Meredith Shell. All right, so I have with me uh, Riley Mullen and Meredith Shell, uh, two seniors on the field hockey team. Ladies, how have you been keeping yourselves busy? Um, I am very busy with, I mean, school, obviously. Um, and then as a senior, college applications are rolling um getting through that and um definitely trying to stay active um I also play lacrosse so that's what I've been doing too just going out there working out running around um yeah and I also work some too so yeah yeah I would say um pretty much the same school college applications are really stressful um but we're getting through it and yeah I, i've been reading a lot and um i've gone down to the whisk quite a lot to run the trail or hit around so we're getting along pretty well so how how have you all been able to stay in shape is coach able to get in touch with you yet or are we still waiting on the vhsl to, to approve something um i don't know about the technicalities um we have like she's given us little updates but for the majority of quarantine and since we've been online or like out of school she hasn't really um we haven't done anything through her as a group we <laughs> uh some of us seniors tried to like orchestrate um over the summer we got together a few times as like in small groups to try to like work out and condition um and that was before we got the call that we wouldn't really have fall sports during the fall season so um yeah. but yeah we I worked on like little little skill stuff like that we could do by ourselves and like worked with some of the younger players because we we are a young team I would say yeah. and we worked with them on just like skills that they can do at, at, by themselves or run around the whisk like Meredith said that stuff some opportunities we have and I participated in is that the indoor league that we normally do in March um even to May, sometimes 
that started back up through the whisk and some of us have been going out there actually today we just had two games they're like 77 games that a few of us can go out and just like practice um their game. games and with other teams like i think we, we played lafayette in like new kent today which was really fun um and then there's also a focus league that we're under the name moorhill um those that's on saturdays that we've been doing um and it's just like us getting into the game mode small short games together and like a parent will just come over and like sub us in to help us out with that mm -hmm. gotcha so what are your plans for next year? Um, I, I'll go um, for, like I said, like college applications are really um, keeping me busy. Um, my plans are my number one choice to go is the U.S. Coast Guard Academy. Um, I'm super finished in my application. I would love to go there um, next year and be a cadet at the academy. Okay. Um, my long shot top choice is Columbia. Um, I, whether I go there next year or not, um, I would like to attend Columbia Law in the future and um, get my JD degree and become a lawyer. That's awesome. But that's in the distant future. <laughs> so hopefully next year, just college. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what advice do you have for freshmen um, academically, those that want to be involved in sports? Um, what do you think? Um, I know like you get told this constantly, but like balance is key. Like if you, um, I mean, I know as much as you love your sport and love participating and being on the team, like you're a student at first, and so definitely to not lose focus of that because um, I think that, that like sports are obviously important and the camaraderie and like team is important, but um, to definitely like focus on your education and don't let yourself um, like fall behind in that to pursue this. Um, and that like, if you need a break or if you need a moment and for school or for other things to let your coach know, let your teammates know that like you just, you need a day like to stay after school and work with a teacher or make up a test um because it's you need to like you can't spread yourself too thin because it'll definitely it'll it'll get to you so that would be my biggest piece of advice is just balance and communicate with your superiors and they're under they're very understanding so yes i would say yeah balance is key in anything <laughs> um especially in high school when you are given so many opportunities to express yourself or anything and I would say like when those opportunities come along like participate in them and make sure like if you really want to do it go for it go for what you dream of um and really anything go for it and don't take those opportunities for granted because I know us as seniors we have lost a lot <laughs> um over the past year and if we had the time back, I know I would take those opportunities. Um, but also, yes, focus on your schoolwork. That's why it's good planning everything out. <laughs> like Miranda said, yes. Mm -hmm. I would also say just um, like I remember as a freshman in field hockey, it was intimidating. Like some of these girls were so good, so much better, ended up at like playing at a collegiate level. Um, and I was so intimidated that I like kind of like just kept myself and didn't branch out as much as I should have. Um, because as the season went along, they, everyone was so nice. Like that just because they're good doesn't mean they're not nice. Um, and so, yeah, that definitely as a freshman, don't be, I mean, of course you're going to be intimidated because everyone's older than you and everyone's experienced, but um don't be scared to to let people help you or like just reach out to people and um just to, don't be scared like they all did the same thing they were all scared at some point as a freshman and so now we're all here and it's it's different so everybody goes through it and just remember that mm -hmm. yes ask questions like we want to help you we are a team and we work together um we want to help you so ask questions and it's not 
it's to help you, but it's also to help the team. We love sharing our experience with everyone and working together. (laughs) Okay. Ladies, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. I hope your your classes are going well. And I really hope that um, you're able to start conditioning soon. And then in the spring, because right now you're slotted to, to play field hockey in the spring, correct? Yeah. yeah. And then lacrosse would be in the winter? How does that work, Riley? Yes. Um, it's a club. It's a club okay. lacrosse, so it might interfere. Um, so I'm, I'll have to work that out. Um, it's not like a full schedule, like practice every day. So gotcha. I'll see what happens. But we'll <laughs> All right. Well, good luck. Take care. Thanks again. And uh, we're very proud Thank of you, you and, and hope you have a great year. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. Nice seeing you. Bye. Well, that's it for this week, Lions. I hope you have a great week. Remember, October is anti-bullying month. And so in a world where you can be anything, choose to be kind. Take care.